Greens one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. Please excuse the noise here. I'm at a very public park on a Saturday afternoon and there's a lot of people here. Maybe I'll do a little camera flip and I'll show you. That's not a flip, that's just tipping backwards. So we got, uh, we got a bunch of people down there. Um, speed boats, jet skis, stuff like that. So there may be a bit of noise. So, but I figured it'd be a better view than sitting in my living room. Uh, I got my questions here that I was asked. Some of you asked multiple questions. So I like to uh, pre uh, express my appreciation for those of you who asked a question of the channel. And uh, let's just get to it. I get bees. Literally, I have bees around my drink. Are you guys gonna be cool or what? Oh, hang on, I might just chug this. Get back so, yeah, the bees are being very friendly. So, anyway, let's uh, try to get power through this. Uh, DC Outdoors had asked. Uh, I always found out how other folks got in the outdoors. Was it something that introduced, was it your family that introduced you? And did you pick it up on your own? Um, my family is actually not into camping. Um, the few times we went, and I mean few, uh, they basically just took the mattress off the bed, slid it in the back of the truck, and my brother and I slept on each of the wheel wells. So, yeah, that was, that was our idea of camping. I had no tents growing up. I think I had a sleeping bag, but I bought it myself, and which I still actually have. I just can't, it's no longer able to zip, and it wouldn't even fit me anyway. So I actually put it on my bed as a comforter. Been doing it for years. Because it's still kind of holding up, so. So yeah, uh, by the way, all the, uh, the if you ask the question, I'm gonna try to link all your channels, uh, whether you make videos or not, all in the comments, so, or description, I should say. So. I got asked by a couple, several questions by Backcountry Tripper. Uh, what back, what camping adventure would you still like to do? Perhaps something that requires more planning. Um, there's actually a, a, a place, it's called Goat Lake, and it's a five mile hike in, and I've always wanted to go backpacking up there. And I just, I either just never get around to it, or I never have the time off, or just some some reason, just life reason, I can't get to it. Who would like to do that? I've seen videos, looks really pretty out there. You know, there's also, you know, time, energy, money, so. Well, there's like eight bees flying around here. If money weren't an issue and it wasn't a constraint, what camping adventure would you pursue? The only thing I would really like to do, and that is, I'd like to get a van and equip it for camping. Like, uh, I'm looking at like maybe a Ford Transit 250, one of the taller ones. I think I even mentioned that in uh, one of my videos when I was going to Vancouver Island. Um, have a van and equip it, you know, comfortable bed. I don't need a ton of like stuff. I mean, I'd, I'd be okay with having something simple but bed you know a place to cook when it's raining and i'd really like to just be able to i don't know if i would van life probably not but i would like to vacation take the van go you know pick a destination in the state because uh, there's still a lot of washington i've never been to so just you know look up and try to find destinations all right i'm gonna go this place i'm gonna go this place and just drive out spend a week and you know and then do basically the entire Pacific Northwest uh, I've already done the uh, I wouldn't mind doing the 101 loop again maybe I should be able to spend a little bit more time doing it um, you know I, I do it in a van because you know if, if I got to a place and there was just nowhere to camp I could still just park somewhere and then um, just camp in a van so that would be you know ideal plus if it was just pissing down rain get in the back you've got some you know some kind of charger or power station and you you know that you watch a movie or something I think that'd be you know kind of fun 
Have you ever embarked on a camping trip that ex exceeded your expectations? If so, what made it so memorable? Actually, there was one trip I went on with, um, it was, uh, it was a long time ago, but it was, uh, we went out, it was on Eastern Washington uh, with uh, Bruce from Nature Calls backpacking and uh, our buddy, his buddy, uh, Lars Londian, who's been on my channel a few times. Uh, we went over to Eastern Washington over more towards the desert, drier side of the state. You know, not like Sahara Desert, but it was a little really dry there. And there was just, I, I didn't ask enough questions about where we were going. So I was packed all wrong. I mean, all my gear was incorrect. It was actually, it was quite, uh, it was quite alarming. I was really surprised how unprepared I was. My sleeping bag was too rated. I had a 15 degrees mummy bag, which was ridiculous. I, I didn't even bring a water filter, which I should have. I had, you know, I had way too many knives. Cause I was just gonna, I was like, oh, I'll boil water when I get there. I'll do the whole bushcrafty thing. And, and then that was a horrible fail. I didn't bring bug spray, which was a massive fail. I just really, I was not prepared and I didn't have the information I needed. <clears throat> I almost just brought a tarp too and it was really heavy mosquitoes, like heavy, they were thick. And it was just, it made me realize, I just, I don't have my system squared away. So, great questions, uh, Backpacker Tripper. Uh, this is from a channel, Galco, I hope I'm saying that right. So, let's see, uh, oh, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is bacon. Um, I could literally eat bacon every, every day. Just, well, actually I do eat it every day. Every morning I have bacon and eggs. Uh, no, well this morning I had a couple pancakes. But uh, normally I just do bacon, egg, and then I put bacon in the eggs. So I actually have bacon twice. Uh, what's my least favorite food? Oh, that's easy, onions. I just cannot stand onions. I, I got no taste for them. I don't like the smell. I don't like the taste. I don't like green, chives, white, sweet, walla wallas. Ugh, they're all just, I just don't like them. I've, I've tried to eat them before and it's like, this just tastes miserable. The texture is awful. The texture raw is awful. The texture cook is awful. <coughs> the smell is awful. The, got okay, a guy jet skiing over there. Um, yeah, they're just bad all around. I just don't like them. I know, I know people do and I just, I, I've tried and I just cannot get into them. Ugh. Uh, would you ever do a live cooking video? You know I would if I had, if I had to set up to do it, I would love to do a live cooking video. I'd love to do a live cooking video at camp and I'd love to do a live video, you know, just at camp, cooking at camp, maybe setting up camp. But you know, that requires, especially where I'm going, I mean, there's no, there's no satellite where I'm going. Wow, the bees here are really just. I don't know what's so interesting about me with the bees today. Is there a nest nearby or a hive? Dude, 